so this is a trial in progress, um, and we think a very uh, important study, which hopefully will answer a key question. Um, as uh, the field knows, um, uh, induction chemotherapy, intensive induction chemotherapy, has sort of been the mainstay conventional treatment uh, for upfront uh, acute myeloid leukemia, and that's intensive therapy. Patients come into the hospital, get about a week of intensive uh, treatment with cytarabine and anthracycline-based uh, chemo uh, and stay in the hospital for 30 to 35 days as their counts uh, decline uh, and then again uh, come up hopefully um, and then they leave the hospital hopefully in a state of remission. But that's it's a tough course of treatment. Uh, patients oftentimes have complications, uh, not oftentimes, almost always have complications uh, related to low blood counts and other uh, potentially uh, challenging side effects of intensive therapy. Um, and it's not always effective, particularly in high-risk uh, settings. And it's been a treatment for us for, you know, three to four decades. So I think it's time for uh, perhaps some change and improvement in what we can potentially uh, provide patients. Um, a few years ago, uh, the combination of azacitidine and venetoclax uh, was uh, approved uh, for use uh, in uh, older patients, 75 or older, or patients who were younger but had substantial comorbidity and therefore could not be candidates for intensive chemotherapy. Um, and that combination led to very impressive rates of composite remission that approximated what you would get with induction chemotherapy. Um, nevertheless, we still give intensive therapy to our younger patients. Um, and for our older patients, we give this more gentle, albeit very effective therapy. So among uh, the field, there is increasing interest to perhaps look at the combination of more gentle outpatient therapy, such as with azacitidine and venetoclax, in younger patients who are traditionally receiving induction chemotherapy and are transplant eligible. So we designed a randomized phase two study that compares traditional conventional induction chemotherapy with um, uh, azacitidine and venetoclax, which is as of now only approved for older patients or those who have significant comorbidity. Um, we suspect um, that it is likely as effective and certainly much more tolerable. And we actually believe that it may lead to an improvement um, in event-free survival because it's less likely to lead to the complications that patients um, uh, have as a result of induction chemotherapy, given that it is more tolerable outpatient or gentle treatment. Um, and therefore, this randomized study just randomizes patients to either induction or azacitidine and venetoclax and follows them for outcomes. But the, the primary endpoint here is event-free survival, but we have a, a multitude of secondary endpoints, um, such as overall survival, MRD status, uh, quality of life, uh, cost analysis, uh, duration of hospitalization, number of hospitalizations, number of visits to the ICU, uh, or uh, causes for admission. So it's a very broad, uh, multi-pronged study to sort of assess whether um, we can potentially uh, transition to more gentle outpatient therapy uh, from the intensive, uh, long-standing approaches we've had today. So that's the randomized study.